Topaz Photo AI is all about giving the AI full control and applying the best settings to your image to denoise, sharpen the subject, and also increase resolution if you are working with a small file. We previously loaded an image, but in this video, I want you to pay attention to areas I'm going to point out to you what happens when you bring in a new video. I'm going to hit Control O on my keyboard to open my Explorer because I told you I'm kind of a stickler for using shortcuts. And I will load Luca again like I did earlier and just point out the areas that I want you to do when I'm going to load the next photo. Observe here under Autopilot, it says using raw image data, then it goes through subject detection. And as I hover over it, you can see there's a red mask applied. And then it goes into detecting low quality faces. But is there a face in this image? And this is taking some time. Raw files are big files. So it says recovered zero of one face. So it did recognize Luca's face as a face, but it decided it doesn't need recovery. And the reason for that is because they think it's already sharp and well, unnoised, denoised enough. Below that, removing strong raw noise. And we talked about that here at the top, the areas where the noise had been removed and then sharpening out of focus subject. But in the bottom left hand corner, this is your progress area. You will see that the denoising and the sharpening is still running. So on the right panel under autopilot, that is where the photo analysis is happening. And then as it is applying this analysis, it is happening in the bottom left hand corner. And the moment you have that complete bar that says preview updated, your image is ready. And now you can see that your image, these hair, they've been really nicely sharpened. This denoise over here that has been applied. We're going to focus on autopilot later on, but note that this is the dialogue that runs and it's not gonna be the same dialogue for every photo. The results depend on the analysis done on the photo. Below it, it says image quality, but this is actually where the autopilot is making its decisions from. It says under autopilot, removing strong raw noise, and you will see that the noise remover has been activated. Then it says sharpening out of focus subject, and you will see that sharpening has been activated. Zero of one face is recovered, and you will see recover faces hasn't been activated, and then enhanced resolution. And enhanced resolution is only going to happen with small files. You can activate it. We're going to look at what happens when you activate it, which is something that you're probably going to step back and say, uh -uh. let's rather not activate it when it's not necessary. Let's finally talk about the upscale dialog box. And there are two parts here. The first is the input. It tells you the size of your image, which is around 37 megabytes, my width, as well as my height. And then it has a crop feature in there. And then it tells you about the upscale AI setting. Topaz believes that this photo is big enough and I'm very happy that they think that way. So it says that they're going to upscale it to a factor of one times one, which means they're not going to upscale it, they're going to keep it as is. And that's why you will see that the output here for the width and the height is going to correspond with the input. There's going to be no change. If you are using this as an output module for printing, you can choose to double, quadruple, and even go max to the size you want it. If you bring in a very small image, anything below like 2000 pixels, Topaz is going to recommend upscale it to a times two or times three or some setting that they will give you. Let's do this one more time. I'm going to hit Control W to close this image and then Control O. For this one, we're going to bring in a small image and also going to use a smaller file. I will go here to this one, Faces, Open. It's not that small. Note here on the right, it goes Subject Detected. And then it hops to Enhancing Resolution by 2.2x and Recovering 4 of 4 Faces. You will see in the bottom left hand corner, now it's busy applying that algorithm. So your images at this moment kind of still look the same. And as the progress bar fills out and it reaches completion, it's going to update the photo on the right. For many of these, I'm going to do a few edit cuts so that we don't have to sit through the whole process. Again, just remember on the speed and strength of your computer, it will depend on how quickly these update. 
And now you can see the image on the right. Wow, wow, wow. But let's have a look at what happened on the right under image quality. This time, remove noise and sharpen has not been activated. And the reason for that is that if I unfold enhanced resolution, you're going to see that we have suppressed noise and that there is a standard high fidelity graphics and low resolution options that you can choose from. What Topaz Photo AI is doing is that they are automatically applying the remove noise and sharpening here in their enhanced resolution module when they are upscaling. So it's recommended that these two, or rather remove noise and sharpen, are not used at the same time as enhanced resolution. It has identified four faces. It recovered the faces because it recognized that the faces aren't in good shape or in good quality and applied a different algorithm to the faces. Our faces work a little bit different than the rest of the image. And now if you look here at the upscale part, you will see the input is a very decent HD at 1920 at 1280. But Photo AI says, we want to work with bigger stuff, baby. So it has applied the 2.2 factor and it's outputting it at 4243 by 2828. And that is how the autopilot runs whenever you bring an image into it.